Hello everyone and thanks for all the support with the video. Today I'm doing a little bit of local history in around Ranla, I'm in Swan Grove here, as you can see. And history goes back here many, many years. We'll start off with River Swan, which is the famous river that starts up around Kimmage Manor and then comes down through Rathmines. Namely, we have the Swan Shopping Centre that people are familiar with. That's culverted comes along under Mount Pleasant around the corner and towards Renla Gardens and then on towards Balls Bridge where it meets the River Dodder. Great history. And here was a Mount Pleasant Buildings that was famous by Lee Dunn, famous author. Died a number of years ago. I think he lived for a while in Bray before he passed on who wrote a great book called Goodbye to the Hill in 1965. I think it was banned at the time because of our sexual content in the book. Remarkable, <laughs> in 1965. But about the, so many of the working class who lived in buildings that were demolished here, very poor conditions. There was a lot of health issues. And the last one I think was demolished in the late 70s. So, um, shows the conditions of the working class in Dublin for many, many years, where poverty and affluence lived side by side, much the same as what we're seeing in 2024 Dublin. Let's just walk down. That's the famous pub there, the, the Hill pub there, there that's synonymous with the local area and across from the hill would be Ranla Gardens, famous for Richard Crosby's balloon flight that was due to go to across the RC, but due to bad weather, it headed off towards Clontarf instead in 1785, Richard Crosby statue across in Ranla Gardens, which is just across the street from here, about a hundred yards up the road. As you just come around here towards Mount Pleasant Square. One of the finest Georgian squares in Dublin was named. I think there was a hotel here at one point. And there was a green space down the front. It's now a park that many people in the community campaigned for many years ago. To retain as a public park, which is great to see. And uh, you can see a square that's curved. <laughs> and uh, Terence Dolan, who was one of the first commissioners of Ratmines Township, was one of the key architects and designers of this beautiful Georgian square that comprises over 56 houses on three sides, bordered on the other side by Randall Road. And on, in the middle we have a tennis club, a pleasant on tennis club. As you can see the beautiful houses here. For many years, there was, um, many of these were partitioned into flats, but now you would be paying probably, probably two million euro maybe for a house around this area, which is uh, extortionate. As I said, just around the corner from where Mount Pleasant buildings were in this area. So, have a look at the design of those beautiful houses. Let's just take a stroll down on a nice spring evening. And I hope you're all well. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me know if you have any memories of Mount Pleasant buildings. Run the gardens, Mount Pleasant Square, that we're here. I'll just walk down and I'll show you something fascinating that I always liked since I was a young child coming down here. This huge house here. I'm not certain if this was Terence Dolan's house. Could have possibly been. Here we go. 
Let's walk around here. That's what we just strolling on. I'll just show you here. Pity we just stopped there for a second because I was show met somebody I knew for a second. See a lovely building and this lovely archway through that we'll just show through. That goes under a house. And there's a public archway, public walkway. <laughs> Fascinating. So we'll keep walking on. I'll show you a few more things around here. Hope you enjoy the videos and please let me know where you're watching from as well. And I really appreciate it as well. Let's just stroll down Mount Pleasant Avenue here. It's a famous pub, Corrigan's, across the way. That's where a film called Young Cassidy, which was the story of Sean O'Casey, one of Ireland's finest writers and activists, wrote The Plough in the Stars. There was scenes shot from Young Cassidy in that pub down there, starring Rod Taylor, Australian actor, and starring Julie Christie also as well. And Maggie Smith, I think, was in that film also as well. Just walk up Richmond Hill towards us, back in towards the Rotmines area. Can have a look up. And there's a house, the second house, number 25, was the home of James Plunkett, one of Ireland's and Dublin's best writers, who was a member and worked for the uh, gas company, but wrote many plays, novels, most famously probably for Strumpet City, which spoke about the struggle of 1913 and the conditions of the working class during that period where we saw the lockout which went on from 1913 to early 1914 and he wrote also Big Jim which was the precursor for the Abbey play The Risen People very relevant in the uh, modern day as well in the context of what's going on so James Plunkett lives across there so you should have a look Strumpet City was a fantastic book great characters in it, people like Rasher's Tierney, who was actually commissioned into a TV series in the early 80s. And there was David Kelly, who also went to Sing Street, like myself and James Flunkett. Um, not at the same time, I might add. <laughs> so uh, he start, started that, David Kelly, fantastic Irish actor. People might know him from uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory as well, David Kelly starred in that as we just stroll up, further up Richmond Hill. And further up Richmond Hill as we come up, and there was a national school here, as well in the grounds of the church that my grandfather went to on Richmond Hill. A national, Rathmines National School. There was six classrooms and 900 students, pupils. So, uh, huge history. And this is a hidden road to a massive extent. It's not as familiar as many other roads in that mines. As a long, proud history. As you can see the back of the beautiful dome here in that mines church, which I've spoken about many times. which can be seen from the Dublin mountains and so many parts of Dublin city, very prominent dome. Just keep walking up. I actually passed by a house just back down there was where uh, Annie Smithson lived, number 12 Richmond Hill, who was a Republican and nationalist, heavily involved in coming them on around the period of um, second decade of the 20th century and also wrote a book her Irish heritage which was a to commemorate the those who gave up their lives and died in East Horizon of 1916. She lives here for about 16 years just a number 12 just down the street here so a uh, wonderful local history in the area let me know your memories of the area let me know if you have any comments. And uh, please share my videos. I'm glad you enjoyed them. There's a huge history here. I'll just walk up and show you a little bit more. And that mines. Famous pub was here for many years, Rat Mines Inn. Just 
It's always a good spot for people to hang out in and Rat Mines Row, which is quite busy at this time of evening. So uh, thanks for joining me on the walk tonight from Renla, Mount Pleasant Building, Swan Grove, towards Mount Pleasant Square, and Richmond Hill here in Rat Mines. Huge history, synonymous with our struggles, synonymous, synonymous with the working class, and a uh, bit of film history thrown in there with Young Cassidy and movie stars like Rod Taylor, Julie Christie, Maggie Smith, and uh, T.P. McKenna, an Irish actor as well, famous Irish actor too as well from County Cavan, who starred in that film, Young Cassidy, I think it was about 50 years ago. 60 years ago, nearly 65, it was made. So uh, thanks for joining me tonight and uh, take care. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye bye.